Yo, what's up, uh, all my folks that are late to workers? It's a little different episode. We're going to be watching a video of a poisoning hoax going on at Taco Bell. Look, yeah, sorry. Was oh. Customer dispute earlier in the day. And that customer that had a dispute was later poisoned and went to the hospital and they found rat poisoning in his system. Upon further investigation, I do believe this guy was just fishing for a lawsuit. All right. That's just personally what I think. Let's take a look at the video and you can make a decision. So this is the dispute from earlier in the day. And I think this guy set this up, purposely had a dispute, then they go poison himself, go to the hospital, blame the dispute, blame the Taco Bell, and get a lawsuit. You had a verbal argument with them? Or yeah, what, started, what happened? The guy started yelling and screaming at me from behind. And this guy over here starts yelling. And Notice he's got his phone out. He's recording. He was documenting the taco. He, he was talking about how he was documenting the Taco me. Bell incident. I got it on video. I got them telling me. Seems I mean, a little weird. The whole thing about it is that the drink is actually cheaper than the, that there's $2.55. And I said, just give me a bean burrito lube now. Okay. Lube means trade. Um, uh, um, uh, upon my further inspection, I was like, oh, he's got a nice truck. I mean, he's he's got he's not doing this for money. Well, I'm I, I think he's behind on his truck payments, and his world is caving in. Okay, um, there was a comment about someone spitting on somebody. I didn't spit on anybody. I, I have a speech impediment. Okay, when I speak loud, it comes out. Oh, okay. So it's not an, an issue. But the guy wants to be a, an issue. So he didn't intentionally no. hog a loogie or. This is Trey. He used our oh, trade by the way, you see how he three FTMO hundred thousand dollar challenge and got funded three hundred thousand dollars. See how he has a, um, he has his ID I ready. I don't even know how to do that. He had this okay. Man. Do you have your okay. ID or anything on you real quick? Why don't you get your ID yeah. though? So the, Long story Colin, short, see what he got. Um, what's your first name? My name is Blaine. Blaine, you yeah. seem like a good guy. I'm sorry I came out across, but I'm just pissed off. No, I get it. Yeah, I understand people are heated. You know when they first. You know, when I, when we show up, you know, so I like to have. Well, the guy saying I'm going to take off. I said I'm not going to take off. I ain't got no warrants out for me. Right. You know, I mean, I I I, I don't drink. I don't. I mean, I, my my two vices in life is coffee, sure. donuts, and Gatorade. Sure. I drink frozen Gatorade. Okay. Yeah. No, that's frozen that's Gatorade. Fine. So I, I'm not sure what they want to do Gatorade. over there. Um. Do you think I spit on? Well, they said that. So, Somebody spit on somebody. I, spit. I mean, I just have a speech impediment. Sure. And my issue is that when I get more vocalized, more verbal, sure. it just comes out. Right. But it's not an intentional act. It's just me talking. Right. You know, and, and that's and that's what I get from having this conversation with you. So I, I can already articulate that. And that's what I get from I, well, he, I, I've been getting sprayed on this whole fucking time. I mean, <laughs> I don't believe that you intentionally spit on them. Like, Straight up hog. I don't know. I don't know how face. to do that. I've seen people do it all the time. I don't do that. I've never done that. Sure. He doesn't know how to spit. Really? Boss. Oh, that's perfectly part, fine. Partner. So let me just talk to him real quick. He's and then... a big guy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we we get we go way back. We're working the show. You a football player? <laughs> I was. Who did you play for? What's that? Who did you play for? Why didn't you call him? That wasn't that good. <laughs> you a big boy. I wouldn't mess with you. <laughs> oh my god dude i hate when fucking people say that kind of shit like oh you're a big boy i won't mess with you like you're trying to immediately brown nose this fucking cop you can talk to me i'm not gonna hit the deterrent <laughs> i mean i if he, i always joke that i'm a big guy but i'm 290 big Paul, you, know, you say that deterrent thing? I'm like, man, you got to be every bit of 200 pounds. Man. Yeah, but I'm just saying that I, I would still, if I guy ever got in a fight and I don't, I lose in the fight. We both lose. Right. It's just <laughs> stupid. So, <laughs> do you mind if I just talk to him yeah. real quick over here? No, you're good. 
I got nothing right now. Just um, do you want to formally trespass him, but the, the manager's not here and they don't have any letters ready, so I okay. told him we would verbally do it. And if he comes back, try to have the letters ready so he can formally do it. Okay. And then that's it. All right, verbal. I don't, yeah, I don't have any initiative from him. Um, been there talking with them for a little bit and I'm not spoiling anything. I just mm -hmm. believe it's just a speech impediment and that's probably why they think. Okay. Alright, okay. so I'm looking for the part where he yeah, says there's going to be a lawsuit. Okay, so next time you come back. No, I didn't. You did? No, I didn't even know your name until I walked out here and my partner no, no. told it to me. The, the people inside. I, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Oh, I want to see what they're arguing about now. So here's my business card, and on the back is the incident number pertaining to this call. So but the fact that he sat there and said, next time you come out here, I don't need to hear that. That's absolutely a threat. I don't need to hear it. It's okay. absolutely a threat. I'm not going to sit there and argue with you. Yeah, it is Do you have any other questions? It is, yeah. I want to know the names of the people in here. Okay. Why? Well, you gave him my name. No, I didn't. You did? No, I didn't even know your name until I walked out here and my partner no, no. told it to me. The, the people inside. I had no idea who you were until I walked out here and my partner told me that your oh, first name was yeah. Bruce. Yeah. I had no idea what your last name is. I had no idea what your date of birth is. Yeah. Nor do I care at this point. We didn't, we didn't give any of your information to them. And they we didn't give any and, of their and information. So what was the, the people that, that happened that? Other than management. everybody's story is matching up that you wanted an exchange of a burrito for a drink. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, for a drink. Right. Because the, the drink wasn't available and you wanted the burrito instead. So, you know, they upgraded, cool. hey, we, what we can do in lieu of that. They right. didn't let, she didn't understand that. So that's why I asked right. you if you knew what the word, not being disrespectful. Right. Right. You knew that if you see the understand that. Right. But the fact of the matter is that these other two guys come out yelling and screaming, call me names. I mean, I'm. So that's, the, that's the number that's generated. The employees. Right. No, I'm saying all the employees that were in there having a verbal argument with you. What about the other people that you walked in there? This is all okay. unnecessary, dumb bullshit. Long story short, the fucking guy says, Oh, y'all gonna have a lawsuit. Y'all gonna have a lawsuit. Try to, try to have a good rest of your day. Sir. Here they are, coming back to the talk. You guys all have IDs with you. This is them. Here is so, being detained. After that argument, later that night, the guy goes to the hospital, or later that day, he goes to the hospital. They say, Oh, you got food poisoning in your system. All right. So. Now and we're nobody here. Is free to they go. come back to the Taco Bell. You hear that? They say every the first thing they say. Everybody's detained and nobody's free to go. Uh, we have our supervisors on the way out and our investigations team as well. So I need all your employees to come out to the front here and just have a seat. Uh, we're going to be getting a hold of the manager for the company, um, and we'll explain a little bit more about what's going on um, as soon as my supervisors get here. But again, for right now. Every single employee here is being detained, and nobody is free to go. Okay. So, detention um, for a while. Um, so it's going to be for um, an investigation we have going on right now. Um, it's going to relate to the poisoning situation. Poisoning? Yes, but right That's now. That's the last so thing you want to hear. I'm going to let somebody else restaurant. elaborate on that. Uh, but right now, I need all of the employees to just go ahead and shut everything down and come out to the front here, Okay. Okay, so we need to call our GM. Uh, yes, I think we have somebody that's working on that right now, but you're more than welcome to give them a call um, and see if they can come out here. Because we have no idea what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the GM doesn't get out here. We're trying to have somebody get in contact with them, but if you have a faster way to get a hold of the GM, that would be fantastic. Uh. All right, you guys. So, again, I see everybody shut everything down and come out to the front, okay? Okay. And again, nobody, nobody can leave. All right. So that's the jump for the storage. If you'd like to speak with the supervisor when he gets out here, you know what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who is that you're on the phone with? My general manager for this store. Okay. And that person's on the way here? No, they're not here. They're not on their way here. Okay. We, who? He's out of state right now. He's out of state right now. Out of yeah. state, buddy. Better gotcha. get on that flight. Um, but okay, he would know what's happening. So, commercial yeah, flight. no, he, he's probably not going to be aware of what's happening. This, this is all just kind of starting right now. Um, 
Nah, they got PJ. We are, cool, like I said, our, our investigations team is coming out, so they're going to contact the general manager and everything. They're going to completely explain what's going on there. All right, folks, let's see what's going on. I'm Recent. Yes, deputy. You guys have to go through all this. I know this is kind of abnormal. This is it, this, this is pretty abnormal for us too. Um, so it's the you know folks a lot higher up making this call based on what we have going on. Um, so you know we're gonna have some folks come in. I think they're gonna want to talk to you guys. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how this is gonna operate. Um, We'll just kind of play it by ear. Like I said, I'm sure these cops are like, I've never had to deal with this. And there's food and administrative, whatever people probably coming in to test some shit, test these guys, check them. I don't know. This is kind of an abnormal thing for us as well. Go for uh, no, I did not. The dumps drop back because they, they broke open a rat trap or something like that. Okay. Um, anything I can go back there and look. What's going have on? You, they kept no. asking. I told them. There is a you know poisoning issue is the reason we're here. Mm -hmm. them everybody else can have to explain whatever when they get here. Um, she has a that before you leave. Okay. Um, other than that, good. All right. Searching them or are you just waiting for them? Because I have no idea what the hell's happening. Um, let's check trash cans and that kind of stuff. Like the dumps drop back because they, if they broke open a rat trap or something like that. Okay. Um, anything I can go back there and look. I just came here just to see what you guys needed. I didn't know how many people I, you had I can go do that. I will take care of that. Um, but that's what we're looking for. Did you get the pictures? No, we didn't. Of what it looks like, what we're looking for. Uh, no, I did not do that. Um, but then. Also, three. Oh, do we know a time frame? Um, at 1946 is when we got notified that okay. uh, the guy was at the hospital that had been poisoned at this hospital. Okay. He didn't say when. Um, I don't. He was, Whitman has the receipt. I'm guessing that had been poisoned at this Taco Bell. See, this guy set that up. Hey, he know he knew. This guy set that up. Nice setup, bud. Picture over. Let's see. Had those three employees that left. Mm -hmm. Is uh, the balls that the green balls and then whatever that or yeah, the green balls because if you flip through to the next one, they're just on top. That one's like hidden. They're oh, just, wow, what those are rat poison balls, and then that is like some sort of cleaning agent or something. I don't know. No, shit. yeah, okay, so that's a lot more than I thought it was. Yeah. What so he takes one bite, immediately starts vomiting, burning throat, all that other stuff. He gave consent. They're going to go. Well, CSI is going to leave the hospital after collecting the food and the poison. They're going to go to his house, collect all the vomit samples. Oh, and the poison in it. damn. Let them know what's going on real quick. Mm -hmm. and damn. Yep. That's not looking good. I mean, this Taco Bell was cleared of wrongdoing, but uh, damn. This guy tried to poison himself for a lawsuit. Crook. Damn. Foot in there. So we're gonna start checking around exterior trash cans, trash cans inside. This is what we're looking for. I want to so see the photo. Actual rat poison was put in the food. So that's these green balls right here. So we're looking for anything like that, traps that may have been broken open. Um, there's more of it, and then there's also some kind of cleaning agent that was put in there. So what happened was the guy take a, took one bite of his food and immediately started burning, vomiting. Um, so they went to the hospital. They confirmed it is in fact poison. In the hospital. Yeah. So right now they're treating this as an attempted homicide investigation. What? Uh, so just kind of, you know, trash cans, outside trash cans, um, any place inside, you know, underneath stuff, any like and traps that may have been attempted broken, murder, open, anything like that. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So I'm gonna check the outside trash cans here. I'll go through that as best check, I can. The investigation wants us to check the trash cans? Yeah, or the slide was wanting us to do that right now. 
Um, so if you guys want to check inside, I can check the outside stuff. So we just going here on here or are we going in the back? All right, folks. Thank you for tuning in. That was a fun little video. Um, I believe it was staged. Comment what you believe below. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.